probably sometime in fifth grade, I think, but then I started back up again when I started walking my tiny fourth grade friend there. Oh, you were walking a tiny fourth grade friend there? <laughs> and, then, and then there was another second grade friend and I think a sixth grade one. And, well, now I'm just back down to the fourth person. <laughs> so you were in charge of bringing these younger people to the center after school? Yeah. yeah. And what do you do at the uh, at 826 Chicago? I write and do my homework, basically. Yeah. And when you come in, is there something, um, you probably get six to seven hours of homework a day, right? Something like that. And is there, is there something, what's, why do you come to 826 to get your homework done instead of sort of uh, maybe procrastinating and waiting until 10 or 11 at night? Well, because I have to stay in the neighborhood until six o'clock at night. Um, and, well, I really have nothing I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think very much to you, yes. No problem. Yes, 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 yes. they do. Everyone at the center has nothing better to do. Yes. And do you find that when, you, when you're there, you have one on one attention from the tutors? Because any day there's probably 15, 20 tutors there to work one on one on anything you have. And do you find like you, when you're at 5, 5.30, you're finished with your homework, you can go home, enjoy your family, relax? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and what do you like to write on your own? Basically things that don't really make any sense. All right. And do you find that the, that, the, that kind of work is validated when you uh, write that sort of thing at 826 Chicago? There's a bunch of very strange tutors that work there, and I'm sure that they would appreciate that kind of thing. <laughs> Tonight. It's a poem called The Dew. Alright, The Dew. That sounds very intriguing. Um, this is like, I forgot you should be, um, have a, this is like our showtime at the Apollo thing. Uh, so maybe we're up here for luck and then you're gonna go. Okay, John Matthew Merrill.